Italy's Campi Flegre volcano may be erupting more often than we thought, according to an ancient eruption. A new look at ancient eruptions at Campi Flegre is raising new questions about the propensity of this still active volcano, located near Naples, to produce major eruptions in the future. Italy's Campi Flegre volcano may have a more violent history than experts thought. A new study finds that the volcano, or a nearby volcano, ejected a massive layer of volcanic ash and rock about 109,000 years ago. This eruption, dubbed the Madaloni X6 eruption, was similar in size to Campi Flegre's largest known eruption, which occurred 40,000 years ago and was so large that it created a caldera 9 miles 15 kilometers in diameter. Despite the relatively large uncertainties, the Madaloni X6 eruption is probably, by a wide margin, at least the second largest explosive event, ever, to have occurred in the Campi Flegre region since 109,000 years ago, led study author Giada Fernandez, a doctoral student in earth sciences at Sapienza University of Rome, wrote in the new paper, published January 15th in the journal Communications Earth and Environment. Campi Flegre lies east of Naples, at the southern end of the fertile Campanian plain. The plain's soil is rich and made of volcanic ash that was destroyed by an eruption 40,000 years ago. Confirmation of a nearly as large eruption has subtle implications for the risks to the roughly 400,000 people who live in the caldera. The volcano has been experiencing about 75 years of instability, which may or may not have led to an eruption. If it does occur, it will almost certainly be small, said Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London who was not involved in the new research. But if Campi Flegre has had multiple caldera forming eruptions in the past, that could indicate that in the long term, the volcano has the capacity for more powerful explosions. It changes the perception of the risk of Campi Flegre becoming active again, Kilburn told Live Science. What the new paper can't explain, however, is whether the Madaloni X6 eruption originated at Campi Flegre itself or whether magma was erupting from a fissure a few dozen miles north of the caldera. That wouldn't matter to anyone in the eruption zone if such a catastrophic event happened, Kilburn said. But it is important to researchers monitoring the volcano, because it could help them focus on signals that are likely to signal a major eruption. The researchers know the volcano had been spewing ash plumes before the eruption 40,000 years ago. The difficulty in understanding this eruption is that most of its traces have been erased by the last major eruption. Rocks from the Madaloni X6 eruption are now mostly visible in small outcrops in the Apennines, Kilburn said, or in boreholes drilled deep into the earth. Fernandez and his colleagues used these outcrops to model what the 109,000-year-old eruption might have looked like. They found that it did indeed originate in the Campi Flegre region and began with an explosive eruption of ash and rock that formed a classic billowing volcanic cloud. This was followed by a period of enormous pyroclastic flows, avalanches of hot gas and rock that formed layers of rock called ignimbrite. The ignimbrite is 6.5 feet, 2 meters, deep in places. The eruption would have ejected more than 36 cubic miles, 150 cubic kilometers, of magma from beneath the surface. That's not much smaller than the largest known eruption, which occurred 40,000 years ago, Fernandez and his colleagues report. By comparison, the last eruption at Campi Flegre occurred in 1538 and spewed about 0.005 cubic miles, 0.02 cubic km, of magma, Kilburn said.